What's up guys, iPodManiac here, and today I have another app review for you, and this week, or not this week, today is on Fish vs. Birds. This is a dollar app in the App Store, and basically what it is is a survival game, you just want to see how many points you can collect to, or <laughs> how many points you can get while staying alive, you know, kind of like many other games that are on the iPod Touch. So right here you have four um, game modes. You actually only have three. I'll show you why. So right here you have classic mode, no fish and no birds, and you have super easy. You have to tap the you have to tap this one and you have to slash the birds for some reason. I think that just goes along with the game because you have to you have to slice the birds in the game and you have to tap everything else. But during oh, yeah, anyways, in here see it's a joke. It just says nothing's that easy, and then it brings you here. And you can tap and it'll tell you a little bit like a bio about the items and stuff. So right here we'll show you a quick um, little bit section of a classic mode. Basically what you are, use these group of fish and you just want to, well I'm not very good at it on the camera. You just want to not get attacked by all these birds and whatever is coming down. So you, you use the arrow to pick where your fish is um, going to move. You have to swipe to kill all these animals, and if you slice like I just did right there, you slice a bomb, you'll lose. And let me just do that again. Retry. I just want to point out a few things. So up here is your timer to see how far you, how long you've been alive. You can also get power ups like that. You have to poke those. You can't slash them. And um, yes, yeah, so there's the points. There's the time limit that you have, and this is obviously how many fish you have left. Uh, and that, yeah, you can get combos like many other games. And yeah, that's it. So, for that mode, let's quit out. There's also a new f no fish mode. Now, you can't click this. You have to slash. That's just how it's designed. Um, so, what you do, basically, you have a minute and a half to just kill as many as you possibly can. The bubbles will capture them and keep them in place for a little bit. And there's also those uh, electric clouds, same in the normal mode, which still... Uh, pop everything in sight and you can do that but it doesn't give you much combos if you just go and swing randomly which is good because then you want to just sit there and like go like that and just be stupid there and you just keep going until the timer runs out and then you get the time I'm not gonna waste your guys' time doing that though another then the final game mode is uh, no birds you have to slash that one too so basically what you do here is you just try and uh, go around the bombs and grab, like dodge the bomb, but grab all these power-ups, candy and stuff. I'm not doing too good. Grab it. I don't know what these things are. <laughs> I don't think you can grab those. Oh, you can. Okay, so yeah, just grab grab all the candy. I don't know if, I'm not too fond of this, this uh, game type. I kind of like the other ones better. But it's still another game mode and it's nice to have. Just click around, you know, grab all the power ups and stuff, get pre points. And I think this also lasts a minute and a half. Yeah. And that same thing, timer up here. And there's your score you have right now. There's also, in all of them, there's a best over here. I actually haven't played this one before, but I kind of knew what it was, so I didn't have to. And yeah, it's. It's not bad, I just don't, I don't know, I don't really look particularly like this one as much, but the other ones are nice. Okay, so let's quit out, and that was the app, Is remember, again, it's Fish vs. Birds, as you see right there, and it is a pretty good app, I give it a 4 out of 5. I take off a point because it, um, it's fun right now, but I don't think I could play it for too long, like I would have to take either short breaks. Or if I played a long time in a row, then I just would lose interest. And also the like lack of options. And you can't listen to other other music like from your music app in here. And I really enjoy that in apps. I think that'd be really cool to add in the update later on. But yeah, that's why it gets four to five. 
So you can definitely check it out. Dollar in the App Store. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. See ya.